I'm Shanna, and this is episode three of Spencer Creations. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a tabletop witch's cauldron. So the first thing that you need is a mini cauldron from Dollar Tree and then a larger cauldron that I got from Party City. I think this one ran about $8 and then of course this one's like a dollar. So I'm going to put this one inside of my big one so that it will take up space. And what I'm going to do is I need to get rid of these handles because it won't sit flat inside the bigger cauldron. So I'm going to remove the handle. And then I'm going to take a ruler and draw with a silver sharpie just so I can see it. And that way I can cut it and have a straight spot for it to sit on. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to be inside the cauldron. No one's going to see it. So there's my line. I'm going to go ahead and draw one on the other side. And this plastic is really thin. So to cut these, you could probably use scissors. Um, I grab my husband's tin snips and I'm just going to cut the uh, across the line and get rid of those bumps so that it'll sit flat for me. All right, and this doesn't want to cut because it's too curved. So I'm gonna grab the scissors and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with the scissors. So I'm just gonna cut on the line that I made. And it is a little tough with these scissors, but I think that I can get it through. You could probably also use an X-Acto knife and just do a couple of passes and cut it off. I do have to kind of push against the side to get the scissors to cut where I want it to cut. All right, there we go. So now I can stick this one inside of the other one and it'll take up space and it will give my leg somewhere to go. For now, I'm gonna take this out and underneath, I'm going to place the foam blocks. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and glue those together really quick, just along the outsides. That way I don't have to shove the leg sticks into the foam. And this is just floral foam blocks that I got from Dollar Tree. They come four to a pack. And the, the sticks on the legs are kind of long. So I'm gonna double them up, that way it has a little extra support when I stick them in there. All right, and I'm gonna put those aside and let them sit for now. I'm gonna grab the legs and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've grabbed the legs and they have these sticks on them so that you can stake them into the ground. And what we're gonna do is put them on our foam. And I'm just gonna measure here to see if I need to cut any of those off. Okay, I think I am gonna have to cut just a little bit off the bottoms because otherwise you're gonna see this even though I have some of the bigger balls to fill it with. So, I'm gonna take the cauldron out and this, these two just fit underneath the mini cauldron that I bought. So I'm going to kind of position these legs uh, probably like this, just in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna draw a rough um, area of what I need so that I can stick the legs into the foam blocks. And I want them a little spread out, so probably like that. And then I'm just going to draw like a little rectangle that I can cut out so that I can stick them into the foam. And again, no one will see this, so just kind of a rough sketch of where you think the legs need to go. All right, and then 
This uh, plastic is thin enough, I think, that I can use my X-Acto knife because it's going to be hard to get those shapes with uh, another tool. So I'm going to poke it through and cut. into the plastic and this is a little difficult but it should work for what we need it to do and again if it's a little rough no one's gonna see it it's just to fit the legs through. this is breaking just a little bit and if I kind of saw it back and forth it works a little easier But, you know, you could keep going and make one big area to put it in, which might be the best idea so that you can reposition your legs based on where you need them to go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting out my space to put the legs, and then I'll come back and show you what else we're going to do. So I'm just going to kind of test this out, out of the cauldron. And I'm going to stick the, I think I'll stick them in sideways. That gives me more area to put the sticks in if they'll fit that way. Okay, so I have them end to end. And then it does um, fit across the hole. I'm going to take this off. That way I can tell that I'm in the middle. And I'm just going to drive this straight down. That way I know where my hole is. And I went all the way to the bottom. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. All right, push it now that it's in there. That way it'll sit a little sideways and you could glue those in. Or you could glue the two foam together and that would give it a little more stability. So. It'll end up something like that. And then when we go to put the cauldron back on, whoop. all right, I'm gonna slide those out. And I think just so the legs stay, I am gonna glue these together in the middle. And I'm going to hit all the surface since we don't have to run the legs through there. That way it'll have a little more coverage. I need to switch glue sticks. All right. A little bit more glue there. Go. And then stick this together. I'm going to take the foam in my cauldron. And I want the handle to show, so I'm going to position the legs so that they're facing this way with the handle. If you don't like it, you can you know, turn it sideways and then you'll have the feet this way with the handles on the side. So I'm going to take the foam blocks and I'm going to put hot glue in the bottom. This is probably the easiest way of applying it instead of sticking it in the container. And then that way, whatever touches will push the, the glue onto the cauldron since it's not flat on the bottom. There we go. My glue gun was not pushing the glue through. Okay, so then Stick it in long ways. And mine has a ridge so that I can kind of attach it there. Then we can take the smaller cauldron and place it over the top. And I'm going to go ahead and put glue on the edges of the cauldron so that it will adhere and not move around. And that will help support the witch's feet also. I'm 
And hopefully the glue on this side is still warm. It takes a while to squeeze all that glue on the edges there. Okay, and then I'm gonna put it in, just making sure that my slit lines up with the slits I've put in the foam. And since it's hot glue, if it doesn't line up exactly, I can always pull that back out and redo it. And then that looks like that'll work. All right, and I'm gonna let this set up just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna put both the feet in there just to kind of figure out if I need to cut it. It looks like I may not have to. And I bought these large uh, green ornaments at Walmart. They have the Christmas stuff out right now, and they were $3 a piece. And I thought they would be great for cauldron bubbles. So I think the best positioning is two in the back and one in the front. And then if I add a few of these, I think that I can actually cover that up without having to cut it down, which makes it a lot easier for you guys. So, I'm gonna take all these out. The next thing I'm gonna do is put these large ones in because they'll take up the most space. I'm gonna turn it to me for just a minute so I can figure out positioning. Okay, I think that's good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some glue underneath those to hold them on the edge of the cauldron here. And we're gonna fill this in with the smaller ornaments. So you don't have to be super neat about applying the glue. You'll never see it. Again, just under this one, and just a good dollop of glue. And then once I get this front one placed, I'm gonna go ahead and put glue in between the balls so that they'll stay where they're supposed to. This one is actually sitting a little lower, so I'm gonna have to glue it to the legs here. And then underneath on the rim. Oh, and the other thing I forgot to mention is make sure that you put the hanger part of the ornament into the cauldron because you don't want to see the that part because then you'll know that it's not bubbles and it's ornaments instead. All right, and these are starting to hold. So I'm just gonna add some glue in between those. And then probably a little more over here on this leg. these don't have a lot of support and that's where the rest of our ornaments are going to attach to. All right and then what we're going to do is we have an assortment of ornaments. I've gone ahead and I've gotten small ones. All these came from Dollar Tree. I think for the little ones they were probably eight or ten to a sleeve and then I think these purple ones were about six to a sleeve and looks like five to a sleeve. Um, and then I got medium sized green ones and they were about the same, like five to a sleeve. And then I've also bought base filler from Dollar Tree and all the ornaments came from Dollar Tree. And then I got this orange and green base filler. However, this green isn't quite the same color as the green ornaments that I've gotten. So I may leave those off and just use the orange and black with this 
or I may leave them off all together at the end. It just depends. It kind of adds more realism if you have the smaller bubbles and you can put those like on the side kind of dripping down. But um, I mostly went with purple and green for this color scheme. So these may kind of clash, but I'll decide at the end if I'm going to add those or not. Um, I think that they did have a purple uh, version of this like at the beginning when they first put the Halloween stuff out, but when I went back to get them, I didn't find any. Okay, so you just place the balls here and there. I think what I'm gonna end up doing because I have so many green ones, because I could only find um, a couple packs of the purple, is I'm gonna start filling the bottom holes with the green, and then I'll accent with the purple. And then I may work in the black on top in the little spot. And there is still a lot of space in this cauldron. I don't know if you can see that. But so what I'm going to do is take some uh, packing paper, like the brown packing craft paper, and I'm going to stuff it in the holes. And then that way it will give the ornament something to adhere to and it will fill up the space. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. And then when I come back, I'll show you how it looks. So I've done um, about three-fourths of the way and um, the thing that I found worked best is if you kind of place things along the rim and then you know just kind of build out so I wasn't super careful about the glue that I was putting on the back layer but then when I got out to the front I um, you know was trying to hide it a bit more the other thing that I find helps is if you place the ball first and kind of see if you like it there. And then you can just gently lift up the ornament and place the glue only where it touches. I started out putting it um, on the bottom near the hanger, but then it wasn't touching um, in all the areas when I applied it to the, when I put it in the space. So I think that that helps the best and then just keep layering it and you know make sure that you use the bigger ornaments and the smaller ornaments because the definition makes it more interesting so i'm just going to keep going and adding more layers and i think that i'm going to end up putting this against a wall so i'm probably just going to build out the front part and not so much the back part because my feet are also unfinished you could hit that with some black spray paint so that it's less noticeable but I think for the ornaments, the amount of ornaments and, um, you know, what I've got going on that I'm just going to finish around the front and, you know, then we'll be done. So I'm going to work a little longer and then I'll show you what the finished product looks like. So here's how mine turned out. I went ahead and added some of the black vase filler in the cracks because you could see some of the silver or gold um, hangers on the bulbs in the cracks. So I, you know, kind of dispersed them and did like a couple different sizes to make it look like, you know, bubbles coming out. I went ahead and tried to attach some lower uh, just so that it looks like it's kind of spilling out and a little um, out of control. But I think overall that it turned out really good. I hope that you guys have a lot of fun making yours. Thanks for watching.